Yo, what's the deal? Hey, like yesterday or some shit like that. Um, I said that it's a potential gang war, right? That's being fueled, fueled by social media. And it's been the flames is being fanned to try to get this shit to ignite. And this potential gang war that I feel that they trying to start right now in LA is between Crips and Bloods. Even though that situation that transpired with Nipsey Mural being defaced and all that, those are rival hoods. I'm not justifying what them niggas did inside of pocket. You feel me? I'm advocating for Nip for what he stood for as a man, not just a Crip. You feel me? But um, shit, I want to play this for you, right? So I guess Game said some shit. And that's why you rap niggas got to stop trying to, you know what I mean? Say shit that look cool and be hip and all that shit. Because you niggas always come back and retract y'all statements. If you're a real nigga and you fuck with Nip, nigga stand on that. Whether it's a blood that violated or whether it's a crypt that violated, an essay or whoever violated. Like, you feel me? You got to start standing on the shit that you say. Like, these rap niggas is cornballs, bro. Especially this nigga Game. Like, this the same nigga. This the same nigga that did the motherfucking, um... The peace march to have a, uh, whatever the fuck they had with the LAPD. You know, when Crip Dog, I mean, the nigga Snoop Dogg put on the, 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 the 1980s Crip uniform and they walked with the police and Sun Kumbaya and did all that old weirdo ass shit. So y'all to advocate peace between gang members and the police, but y'all don't advocate peace between black males. I'm going to play this shit for y'all. I, I want y'all to see this, right? You know, Wack, he issued a statement and all that shit. Wack 100, you know, blood nigga from, um... From motherfucker Paquima from out in the valley. Valley blood nigga. Blood nigga from out the valley, right? He issued a statement. I'm going to just play this shit for you. I'm going to play this shit. This was this Air Force game. Ones. Niggas coming through the hood with them Air Force guns. We got more Drakes than the billboard. Disrespect the nip type of shit you niggas get killed for. We not going to stand for the disrespect. Get this 45 bell pressed against your neck. And every time I lift a tech, them armor pistols rip a vest. Same hood over a different set. Put... Hey, yo, listen, I come back, everybody in the rage, my homies in the rage, I say my homies, Don Moves in general, you know what I mean? About this game verse, all right? Just to clarify something, when the world was saying I was disrespecting Nipsey Hussle, when all I was talking about is music and wasn't disrespecting that man as an individual, but just talking overall music, game was still talking about what niggas would do to a nigga that disrespect Nipsey Hussle. Even though the world tried to pin it on me and find me guilty for something I wasn't guilty of. Uh, I just think it was bad timing. I just checked his phone personally. The motherfucking bar has been in there about two months as he pre-writes his songs. So listen, uh, and the Rolling Sixties ain't even the one that's responsible for that. Powers it be, y'all know what's happening. So this is what we gonna do. I'm gonna have the homie donate some money towards our funeral. So it was no disrespect intended. That ain't nothing he got to do because it really ain't his business. But just to let you know, my nigga, that ain't what that was. Y'all let me know where it got to go in there to get there, homie. Other than that, let's kill all the unnecessary bullshit and niggas can tend to the real shit that they don't need to tend to, whatever that may be. You know what I mean? Let's stop putting shit on motherfuckers that shouldn't be there. The individual that lost his life, you know what I'm saying, made a homie B.I.P., he ain't even the one that's guilty of even violating Nipsey Hussle. Let's be real. We all know who's who and what's what. That man ain't the one that's been uh, guilty of violating Nipsey's murals and so on and so forth. So the one that was killed ain't even that. So you know, let's stop twisting this shit into something that it ain't got to be, man. Rest in peace to the homeboy. Shout out to all my Don moves across the Inglewood boy, my nigga uh, Rocky, somebody, uh, Wack. Y'all tap in with me, blood. Let me know what we got to get this change to, my nigga. Hey, check it out. I accidentally posted that live on the wrong page, so I'm going to put it on this one, too, um, and speak on the situation that was brought to my attention this morning by the homies, by a gang of homies. Um, niggas in my DMs, niggas is upset, niggas feel away. I get it. Um, understand that I mean no disrespect, meant no disrespect to no pyrus, no bloods, nigga, no, no L.A. niggas, no gangbangers, period. 
But um, speaking on the, uh, you know, the Indian Red Boy situation, number one, RIP to the homie, um, love to his whole family, his immediate family, his close homies, the whole Inglewood family, blood card, and it's all the pot rules, down moves across the world, period. Nigga, if anybody felt a certain way or felt disrespected by, you know, what I said, number one, I've been wrote in bars and bars, been in my phone since like May or April. And, uh, you know, yesterday I decided to put them, you know, put the shit out um, on the live bad timing on my behalf and shit um and um I, I feel niggas i feel niggas you know um they niggas feel you know like i disrespected somebody but it's really just bad timing so on me i'm gonna get with the homies the big homies some of the little homies um and uh i'm gonna get with blood family and uh help bury blood you know throw some uh chips his way for the funeral and all that um and, and but really you know the big homies the, and, and niggas my age and all the ogs niggas know what it is with me niggas know that i'm from west side see the block bombed in Peru. i stand on that i've been a solid nigga my whole career i done been at it with the, with, with my own homies i done been at it with crips a nigga this la nigga that's how it goes the gang culture um niggas you know a nigga should know not to speak on certain shit no matter no matter what it is whether it was relative to this situation or not but um i did um, and so, you know, I got to stand on that shit and I got to rectify the situation, make shit right with, uh, with all the little homies out there. Cause I know niggas out there dying in these streets. I've been shot. I got dead homies. I know, I know what it is, man. I got family that's dead and, and I just know how this LA shit gang shit. I know how this shit go anyway, homie. So it's, it's young niggas. It's for the young niggas. I'm talking to y'all niggas. I know y'all niggas out there doing y'all shit. Y'all active. And, uh, you know, again, I mean, no disrespect to the, to the young homies, um, the, the YG homies, the, the OG homies already know what it is i didn't talk to a few of them this morning niggas know what it is and uh you know it's it's you know it's just a simple motherfucking mistake but uh, you know a nigga gotta be a man to stand on that shit rectify the situation and i'm gonna do that um i talked to manchester uh from inglewood family i talked to the homie big y i talked to whack 100 this morning and i'm gonna I'm I'm reach out to a few you know a few more of the og homies um and and some of the little homies and just you know do whatever i gotta do to make the shit right um, I wasn't speaking on that situation directly. I ain't say blood name. I ain't say no names. I ain't say no gangs, no nothing about that shit. Um, but I understand the sensitivity and the timing. But like I said, I wrote that shit months ago, had that shit in my phone. Um, when I wrote that shit, blood was still alive. So it ain't got nothing to do with him, but I get it. I get it. So I'm gonna rectify the shit. Like I said, um, I'm gonna get with blood family and help bury blood and, uh, shit after that, I'm gonna be done with it again. All the little homies out there, man, no disrespect. The big homies, no disrespect. Nobody in the whole blood car, nigga. No gangsters, no L.A. gangsters, period, nigga. I know how this shit go, and I ain't disrespecting nobody out here. No Crips, no Bloods, no Essays. No, no, not not even no motherfucking non-affiliated, hard-working niggas out here, man. It's L.A., and I know what this shit do, all right? One.